I see you safe. I've broken open a lot of safes, never with my bare hands. Welcome to cloudy San Jose, California. It is chilly. This is the locker number 11. I am here. I have a friend coming in about an hour to help me out, but I can't wait. I've got to get inside of this thing, open it up, see what's going on. The lady came and took the lock off of it. So it is here. It is mine. Please be something inside of the safe. I feel like if the safe is locked, that is a good sign. And then maybe some computers are worth something. I hope so. This is gonna be a fun one. This was a lot of money to spend on a storage locker. Let's get inside. Storage locker. Look at this. We've got cinema HD display, 30 inch wide. How old is this thing? Oh, oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, there's a full on computer in there. Okay, we've got computers. They are a little older. Oh, but hey, the passwords. That's helpful. We can get into these things. It definitely gives them some value. Like maybe you could sell them for a couple hundred dollars online. Three computers here. Oh. Yeah, that one's got some issues underneath it. What could be inside of this case? It's not locked. Whoa. Whoa. Fantascope. Whoa, what the heck is this thing? The hyperscope extends your vision and re remap science in new and visually exciting ways. What the heck? Anywhere from 500 pounds to 1,400 pounds. Look at all those old telescoping magazines. Those are pretty old computer parts there. Power cable. Hey! Okay, Hunter is here. Hunter, let me show you the things that we've got so far. Um, this, not worth much, it's from like 2007, this monitor. Old computer parts. Still has the password, so I feel like there's some value if we can get into it and actually reset it. Maybe 100 bucks. Xbox 360 Kinetic. Stainless steel watch band inside of the Xbox thing. <laughs> what? 20th century firearms book. iMac. This one looks a little newer, right? Oh, it's empty. Yay. An empty iMac box. Ah, uh, we got this guy. Do you think it works? Computer. No. Look at the bottom. It's got stuff coming out of it. Got a lot of things in here. I mean, this metal clamp the thing. What the heck? Auto repair manual, 1953 to 1961. The main reason, the main event, why we wanted to come here is the safe. I see you safe. I see you down there. Okay, first let's get rid of some boxes. Oh, okay. It has all of these memory card backup devices and tons of them. Like tons of these guys. I looked it up online and they're super old and I don't think these are worth anything. Okay, it won't open. It doesn't even turn that well. Oh, there we go. No, no. Oh, ha, the key just fell out of the bag. I can't even get it to turn. Okay, we're gonna need some more tools for this guy to get inside of it. It actually is almost opening. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, I've broken open a lot of safes. Never with my bare hands. This could be an asbestos filled safe, so probably not good to breathe in that dust. All I did was got in to the outer layer, the, this stuff protects it from like heat and fire and all that stuff. Okay, we're just gonna leave the safe there. And for now, let's get back into some more stuff into this locker, get some proper tools and get into this. Um, I'm not done with you safe. I'm gonna get you. Toys. Toys. Goodwill, no value. Another set of toys. There's Woody. Apple Care, Apple Care, Apple Care, Apple Care. Fairrite EMI Suppressor Retro Kit. Wow, these are heavy. Some sort of computer fancy stuff. 
We also have this machine. More Apple Care of VHS. And a box. Holy moly! Well, so far, not so good. Shower walls. And here's the actual shower. Well, that's a waste. It's a Nike box. The Nike box could be a value. Old school Nike box. That is empty. This is so old though. Here comes the tools. People love tools. People love to buy these things. Here's where we're at now. We've got some old things in here, some glass. What looks like more tools. That is a nice metal box down there. There's a couch right here. It's a decent looking couch with a chair, a couple surfboards, kitchen it says. I really don't know what this giant thing is. It has wheels, so that's cool. But somebody uses this for a very specific purpose. It's super interesting. This has been a total bust and a waste of my money. There's probably things in here that you're like, that has value, that has value, that's great but it's gonna take a long time to sell. That's why I like safes. That's why I like seeing that there's Pokemon cards or certain things that I can actually see. Let's continue on. Let's do this. Definitely a used surfboard. Another surfboard. These fins are carbon fiber. That's pretty nice right there. Basket with some bags. This whole thing is filled with those cards. I feel like we need to test this out somehow. All right, I'm holding on to the cash cards. Oh, for a second there I was like, Pokemon. <laughs> Wow, good pictures. Looks like we found all the cookbooks. Tons of computer charging cables. More baking books. There's a big old server. The blind side, more cables. Skill saw and a Milwaukee. Oil filters, sprays. Zero value. Okay, we've gone through everything pretty much. We need to go and Take stuff to Goodwill, take stuff to the dump. I broke down everything on the outside, the outer layer. We just need to get inside the metal box. So I'm thinking even just one little crowbar and we should be able to pop this thing open. I don't think we need a saw or anything. We're trying to get into this. We have an angle grinder. We have this right here. We just got to get into this safe. I'm really excited to get to the actual box. There's the bottom of it. Last one. Time to get inside of this safe. There goes the blade. She's getting small, it's getting hot. Why did I open it that way? I should have just done it on the edges. Because I'm smart. I probably could have just done this. <laughs> there you go, you got it. Oh, baby. Oh, we're in. What do we got? A metal sheet. We got a metal sheet that's the shelf. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't overpay for a storage locker when you see a safe. I know there was a guy that got $7 million out of a safe. Very unlikely. We will find something inside of a safe. I promise. If you took all of this stuff and were able to sell it, my guess is maybe a few thousand dollars. We have a friend here in San Jose that's actually going to take all the stuff and get it sold and make sure that it's put to good use. We are not throwing all this stuff at the landfill. Things will be sold and reused and recycled. So, um, except for the safe, it's dead to me. It's, and it's dead too, so. All right, thanks for watching. Somebody likes their truck. Oh, hey, we have light in here. There's Woody. <laughs>